Welcome back friends. Hey, is social media ruining your RV experience? Let's talk about it in this video. Stay tuned. Okay friends, the goal of this video is for it to be a discussion video, so get down in the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Is social media ruining the RV experience? I'm going to give you a couple of things that concern me regarding RVing and social media. Let's get started. So I think we kind of have a unique perspective here being a medium-sized RV channel. We see hundreds of comments, uh, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and a common theme that I see that concerns me a little bit is the malcontent in one's current situation. And I think social media has a lot to do with that. So let's say uh, if you have a pop-up, you're wanting a travel trailer. If you have a travel trailer, you want to go fifth wheel. If you have a fifth wheel, you want to go motorhome. And there, I think social media has a lot to do with that because one, they get to tour all of these different rigs. Two, they get to see others using these rigs in whatever way they're using them. You know, they see the room that a fifth wheel has, or they, they see how fun it is to travel in a motorhome. Um, they, they see how easy it is to get around in a pop-up. I mean, they just can't be content in their current situation. I got news for you. If you go buy that fifth wheel, you're probably going to want a bigger fifth wheel. If you go buy that bigger fifth wheel, you're probably going to want a motorhome. If you go buy that motorhome, you're going to want a tag axle motorhome. I mean, it, you have to work on your contentment, and that's kind of where I'm going with here is the contentment of folks seems to be at a minimum right now because they watch all of these other folks do their thing in different situations and in different locations. That's another thing that people are malcontent with their current location. They see all these folks going to Alaska and out west or up to Michigan and Maine and all these other great places, and they're discontent with their current location. We're in Georgia. I love camping in Georgia. And yeah, sure, one day maybe we do a road trip out west, but there's so many cool things to see here in Georgia. You know, the grass is not always greener on that other side. And if it is, it's because somebody's watering it. So we've kind of made the decision to water our own grass, nurture our own situation, and hopefully you'll do that too. All right, here's another situation where I think social media might be ruining your RV experience, and that is problems. You see everyone's RV problems. You know, 10, 15 years ago, I'm in Georgia again. Who, how would I have ever known somebody in Oregon or, or Kansas or Maine would have been having issues with their RV? I wouldn't have known. You know, ignorance is bliss sometimes. And the fact of the matter is, most RVs don't have major problems. They have nitpicking stuff here and there, but the vast majority don't have problems. The RV dealers just, or RV manufacturers just wouldn't stay in business if all of them had issues. But if you go to some Facebook groups, if you go to, you know, if you, if you look over YouTube and Instagram, you'll, you can find all the problems you want. And that's because this thing is not only nationwide, but worldwide. Social media is worldwide. And so 10, 15 years ago, I would have never known somebody in Oregon was having an issue with their travel trailer. Well, now I do know, and I start to worry myself, okay, am I going to have that issue? Should I even buy a travel trailer or, or an RV? I don't, I don't know now. I'll see all these people having all these problems. And the fact of the matter is, most people don't have problems, but you get to hear about all of them on social media. Now, to that point of problems, social media can be great to help you solve problems if you do have them. My suggestion is to understand, okay, this can happen, but it hadn't happened to me yet, so I don't really need to worry about it. And if it does happen to me, I'll probably have a YouTube video where I can fix it myself. All right, here's my hope for you guys. Only use social media for inspiration. Don't let it be that carrot on a stick that you can never get to. Use it to inspire you. You know, do your own thing. You see something really cool on social media? Well, that's great. Let it inspire you to go do your own thing that's really cool. Also, use social media as a resource, as a tool. You know, if you see problems that somebody's having, understand you're not having those problems, but we'll find out how you fix it. And if I ever do have that problem, then I'll have a good resource to go to. But don't sit there and worry about it. It's going to mess up your whole camping trip. So guys, I hope this video was useful. Uh, if it was, please share it. It always helps the channel. And also consider subscribing. See ya.